They are operating under a franchise issued by Congress. Bombo Radio, I'm just warning you. And of course, uh, the people of Cagayan is uh, on monitor now. They are monitoring what's happening here in the hearing. Kasi during that time po, sa Bombo, madalas magsalita si si Mr. Mamba, nasasagutin niya lahat ito. Kaya ito po, papalabas ko lang po. At saka, no, may tutuloy yung investigation sa lower house, no? At saka sa Senex, sana dito sa boat buyer, at ibigahan nila ako. Dahil ako naman daw ang boat buyer ng kagayaan, no? So, pupunta po ako, no? I will welcome that, no? I will welcome that para ma-expose kung sino yung mga boat buyer dito sa Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, I think we have the Bombo Radio. Yeah. We want to know the airtime. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, the airtime availed up by Congressman, uh, by Governor Mamba, is starting March 25 up to the day of the election. You have a record of that. How many minutes, how many hours? Yes or no? Anyway, anyway. Na, na, na. Tingnan muna natin. Because this is very important. Uh, particular po, Governor Mamba or the Provincial Government of Cagayan, uh, Your Honor? Uh, separate Provincial Governor, the Governor, and the Provincial Government. And also from the COMELEC, I would like to have a certification from direct ELNAS. How much airtime is being accorded to candidates during the election period? Because this will also constitute an election offense. Right, Mr. Elnash? Director Elnash? So, gano'ng karami bang oras? Uh, Ninety minutes po. Uh, national, then 60 minutes local po. Anyway, anyway Kamalek, we, we require you to submit the pertinent document with regards to that. For purposes of records. We will comply, Your Honor. Thank you. And uh, to the Bombo Radio, please uh, submit the documents no, being requested by this committee. Uh, and the uh, contract, no, this is a contract. Please submit uh, on the next hearing. Whether the contract from 2021 to 2022 or 2023, please submit to this committee on the next hearing, before the next hearing. Uh, we try to find or to locate all those uh, documents, uh, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, please comply. Please comply. Thank you. Thank you. So, do I hear any motion? They are operating under a franchise issued by Congress. Bombo Radio, I'm just warning you. We were informed during the last hearing that an application for certificate of excep exception was filed by the province of Cagayan or by Governor Mamba. That's correct, Your Honor. Okay. And will it be a correct assumption legally and by logic and common sense that the provincial government of Cagayan filed the certificate of exception because they know for a fact that there is a prohibition regarding the expenditure of public funds during the 45 period starting March 25? I think that will show from the filing of the exception. Okay. And also during the last hearing, it was the official information was given to us by the Gomelec that the promulgation regarding that certificate of exception was made only on May 25. Is that correct? Yes, it was uh, known to the parties, Your Honor. So May 25. Be conclusion, legal, that the expenditure made by the province of Cagayan from March 25 up to election day will be considered in violation of the rules and regulations and applicable law of the Gomelec, considering that at the time of the expenditure, there is no certificate of exception made by the Gomelec. Uh, on that premise, yes, Your Honor. Okay. And those certificate of availability of funds was, were signed by you after April 29, the date of the issuance of the restraining order. Would you still maintain right now? What is your final answer now? Did you comply or did you not comply with the restraining order? Uh, 
Mr. Chairman, I know that so many members of our of the two committees are very eager to interpolate. So I would rest in the meantime, but I would like to manifest that this is not an investigation for the purpose of prosecuting the person involved. We have seen in these cases that there has been uh, there is there has been injunction, there is no certificate of exception, and the COMELEC has manifested and inform us that even though there is no certificate of exception, they cannot do anything if public funds will be used during the 45-day period. So much so that I think we have to make the necessary legislation in order to give more power to the COMELEC, in order to stop expenses like this. Expenses even cash advances even during the last working day before the date of the election. And according to some information, even on election day, money is being given to the presidents of Cagayan under the guise of tulong sa pandemia. Although we have to take judicial notice, na alam nyo naman noong 2022, hindi na ganong kagrabe ang pandemia. Ang pandemia grabe during the year 2020 and 2021. So my final question is, during the year 2020, was there any tulong sa pandemia na binigay ang lalawigan ng kagayan? Governor Mamba, what about COA? At the next scheduled hearing, you submit to us the pandemic relief assistance given by the province of Cagayan for the, years 20, for the year 2020 and 2021 so that we will see the pattern. You will not be giving any statement nor any answer to any question propounded on you, whether that question is answerable by yes or no. Uh, Mr. Chair, I want to participate. But no, that, the that's not your Chair, you want to participate, but you don't want to answer. What will be your participation? Okay, Your Honor, if it relates to the cases, no, I will not answer. Okay, just a follow up one point. Up to Mr. Budget Officer, you know the budget of the province of Cagayan for the year 2022? Yes or no? Okay, is there a budget for pandemic assistance for the budget for the year 2022? Uh, there is sponsor uh, it's charged against various uh charged against various we know yung mga barcos ano yung barcos kasi specific tayo eh kayo kasi former mayor pag may budget tayo nakalagay for relief or for pandemic so yun ang tanong ko sa inyo bang budget meron kayong appropriation for pandemic assistance or pandemic relief sanction Meron yes, po meron po. Nasa kwento mga... How much? Is it, does it total 300 million? No, I, no, no, your, your honor. O, oh, isa, diba ito yung ano? Lahat ng inyong releases, panay pandemic assistance to. Sources of funds. O, oh, saan nyo kinuha? Na, various sources po, na program po ng uh, provincial social welfare. So, of the present budget for 2022? Wala po. Oh, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, realignment po yun, I think. Ano ba yung program? Ano yung various programs yun na ng pandemic relief assistance? Uh, marami po yung mga, nasa social welfare po, nasa uh, PDRRM, nasa calamity fund po, at uh, iba pa po. So, to tell you honestly, I am a lawyer. And I know the reason kung bakit dandang milyon ang gitwan yung pandemic relief assistance. Because you are indirectly violating the temporary restraining order. Hindi nyo pwedeng gamitin ang no town left behind, no barangay should be left behind, tulong. Yung ba noong inisyo ang restraining order, meron pang, meron pang pondo ang no town shall be left behind, at, at, at no barangay should be left behind, meron pa, wala na. Uh 
I think marami pa po kasi oh, oh, hindi niyo ginawa 'yon ng 2020 to 2 Kinalaw niyo uh, As a matter of fact you have already posted in your website the results of your audit for the province of Cagayan for the year ending December 31, 2022 Yes, yes or no Yes or no we have already posted the pandemic relief assistance, what would be the object of expenditure in so far as assistance to the LGU or to the barangay is concerned? Okay. will not be asking question if I don't have any basis. Dumapal, Hirakio, set number 40462.38, Mr. Chair, 2,785,000, Mr. Oh, Chair, etc. Mr. Chair, oh, hindi ka pa tapos. Mr. Chair, Chair, Sorry, Mr. Chair. Matanong ko lang, May 5 is a Wednesday? Friday. Friday. Paano nila na-incash yung check-in ng Friday? Yung Friday. banko. Yung banko ang pumunta sa kanila? Thursday. Uh, no, no. The date is May 6. It's a Friday. Friday. May 6. Oh, paano na-incash ang banko? Paano nyo na-incash yung check-in? Open the box. Yes. O kaya, yung banko ang pumunta sa kanyo? Lahat ng kinagano ba sa iyo, recorded, and you are testifying on the road. You better tell the truth. Oh, 24,550,000 on May 6. Hindi naman, talaga malakas boses ko. Practicing lawyer ako eh. Katulad ng inyong abogado, trial lawyer ako. Not to mention that I am a professor. Oh, eto. Naka-specify ang check number. Oh, oh. Yun lang po ang maalala ko, sir, yung may... Ay, malabo tayo rito. O 